Good morning. It's the Easter challenge and we're in John chapter 14. Thanks for joining me reading through the gospel of John together. Jesus had just come into the city of Jerusalem. He made his way across the Mount of Olives, about a mile or two miles, maybe a trail, something like we're on this morning, all the way into the city of Jerusalem. It was Palm Sunday. We just read the story and then Jesus is going to go to the upper room with the apostles and share together Passover meal. There's the washing of the disciples' feet. Jesus is speaking, and here we come to John 14. There are three incredible promises in John chapter 13 and 14. I want to draw your attention especially to John chapter 14. Here in John chapter 14, there are three promises that Jesus makes to the apostles. They're so incredible. Don't miss them. You recognize John 14 verse 2. In my Father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place just for you. And if I go, I will come. I will return for you. John 14 verse 2. The promise is eternal life. There's a lot of differences between the Old and the New Testament. You know that. The Old Covenant, the New Covenant, the law to grace. But did you know this? Did you know the phrase eternal life or everlasting life is unique just to the New Testament? That's right. Look it up for yourself. You will find that in the Old Testament, it was a kingdom here on earth. But when we come to the New Testament, Jesus is constantly speaking about everlasting life. He's constantly speaking about eternal life. That's right. That's the first promise in John chapter 14. The second promise he gives to us here in the upper room with the apostles just a few days before his crucifixion, he tells us that he is going to ask the Father and the Father is going to sin the Holy Spirit. What a promise. That's incredible. When the Holy Spirit comes, it's not just that the Spirit of God will come upon us, but the Spirit of God will dwell within us. And the third and final promise we find in John chapter 14 is peace. Not as the world knows peace, but peace that only comes from heaven. That's right. God's peace. Peace in the world is described as the absence of conflict or war. If we're not at war, then we must have peace. Uh, that's not God's idea of peace. God's idea of peace is a peace within the heart where we are made right with God. I'm so glad you're reading through the Gospel of John with me. What a thrill as we prepare for Easter. Good Friday in just a couple of days, and then I'm excited about Easter sunrise service. And of course, Easter is coming. We're going to have a celebration both at 9 and 11 a.m. Oh, we're going to be live streaming it, but that's all right. It's going to be an incredible time. Keep it up. You're doing a great job. And remember, remember number one, to eat healthy today. Number two, get out and get some exercise. It's not that bad. It's beautiful outside. And number three, and most important in John 14, remember you have eternal life. Thanks for accepting the Easter challenge.